All right, coming up next, we get to a welterweight championship showdown between Bruce Lee and Hector Lombard. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to my YouTube channel. A pro dating to 2004, here is Hector Showweather Longboard, a judo Olympian representing Cuba in the Olympic Games back in 2000. And when he made his UFC debut at UFC 149 in 2012 against Tim Boach, he brought with him a 25 fight unbeaten streak. This was a guy who was mentioned with the best middleweights in the world for the better part of a decade, and you better get your hands up tonight. More than 20 wins by knockout for Hector Showweather Lombo. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. You know, there is just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed, and that certainly applies to this young man. Punches and bunches, as good a combination striking game as we've seen in the UFC in years, and you gotta think the accumulation of punches, which have worn down lesser opponents, could wear down his opponent here tonight. It's one thing to see the hand speed on film, it's another thing to see it in your face on fight night. We'll see how this matchup plays out tonight. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliasa. And now, this is the moment UFC pound around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time for round for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the new corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and two no contests. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Presenting the challenger, Hector Lombard. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, here we go. This should be good. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC's welterweight champion. With the jab here, but he saw it coming a mile away. Nice job there to block it by Longo. Fighters back to their feet now. Another shot. Oh, nice takedown. Slams into the canvas with authority. He's in half guard. Uh 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Transitions to full guard. Oh, big elbows raining down here, Joe. This could be trouble. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Three minutes to go in the round. Big punch from the bottom. He's now working from half guard. How good is that right hand? Nice punch to the body. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Lombo. Lee gets touched, and once again, it's that elbow. That has been there all night. Defense has got to be better. Oh, and reverse. Very nice sweep winds up at his opponent's guard. Hand there. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Looking nice for punch. that ankle lock. He's trying to secure it. Nice. Pops that leg out of there. Switching stances here. Into the bottom of this championship fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. While not a guy you want on top of you, ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Longo. He switched stances back to Southpaw here. Yeah, and here he goes again. Oh, and again, he lands another takedown there, Joe. So really doing a nice job scoring points, and the takedowns are piling up. And he's not telegraphing his shot, and that's why he's been so successful. The opponent can't see it coming. How you feel? Great, man. That was awesome. I told you you were going to win this fight with cardio, man. He is already spent. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's see this again. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. The lovely Brittany Palmer getting the round one assignment. Here we are, early round two. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win. But what's his opponent going to be able to do to him? Look at that nasty jab. In on a double leg takedown here. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Well, the ground and pound is there. And he reverses position. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. In half guard. Postures up here. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. Big shot. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Long 
Bard gets caught by that elbow. It doesn't look like there's a cut, but he'd be wise to get those hands up. Two minutes now to go. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Lee. And he gets reversed. Good shot to the head. He postures into place. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's got half guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Good shot to the body. And they clinch. Deep breath there and reset. Oh, wow. He's got hurt here. Joe. Another elbow. Oh, some big elbows landing for him now. Into side control. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to side control. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Landing some good punches in this position. And that's the end of round number two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Amazing highlights from that round. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Here we go, third round of this championship. Effective strike there by Longo. That punch will work right through the guard. Now a level change. Longo gets the double leg takedown. He landed that punch flush. Slips to half guard there. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. And he turns it around into full guard. Nice punch. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Brutal strikes landed from the full guard. He's mounted him. Excellent movement here on the ground. Now he gets the full mount again. Trying to pass here. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. And mounts again. Full mount. Lands oh, a big elbow. Man, there. that is rough. He's in half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, good left hand. Side control again. He's in half guard here. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. In full guard here. And he winds up on top. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He hip escapes from the full mount. Back to full guard. Wow. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Into the final minute of this championship fight. It's the elbow there. Big body punch. Thirty seconds to go in the round. 
Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Now he's moved back into full guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Back to half guard now. All right, three rounds down, yeah. potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, you're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at, we're still... Here we see some high-level striking. Great accuracy on that punch. And here we see perfect timing with this double. And here's a powerful knee that lands from the top. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. All right, so with that, we have arrived at the fourth round. The championship rounds are here, and now is when we really see championship medal, right, Joe? To see what these fighters are made of. 15 hard minutes in the books. We'll see who's the fresher fighter here to begin this fourth of a possible five rounds. Pretty significant well to the left side. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Moves in a half guard here. Elbowed him in the face. And back to full guard. Back to the feet now. Long bar going for the takedown here. Nothing doing it. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And he connects there. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. He's going for the north-south position. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, he landed a right hand. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Lombard gets in the clinch yet again. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's in half guard here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, nice combination of elbows there by Lee. Big shot from the bottom. Lombard's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Lee. While mounted here, he's got to control his opponent's posture. Right back in the full guard. He's looking to attack off his back. There's a nice elbow off his back. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. In half guard now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. He got tagged there. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, he's got the neck. Trying to get that arm under the chin. And now he's got that arm under the chin. Twenty minutes down. Potentially five to go. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. And let's look at that from another angle. This is the last round. You're losing this round. You've got to come out there and put the pressure on. Just like that. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. Last round, you ready? You ready? 
Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Fainting with that kick. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's gotta mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent low. He's out. He's out. That's it. He's and out. Just He's like out. That, the, the fight, fight is over. over. Wow. A huge kick for the knockout victory. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. And let's check that out from a different angle. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 53 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound